Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to generate or create a QR code for Microsoft Team Meetings. So this way, you guys are able to encrypt your meetings and make sure that it's more safe. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the reason that you may want to do it in the first place is, like I said, to encrypt your meetings and make sure that it doesn't get hijacked. Because by creating a QR code instead of an actual URL link, which anyone can just click, um, it adds an extra step to actually joining the meeting. So it's, it makes it harder for um, people to bypass it or hijack your meeting. And to do so, uh, you would want to use this tool right here, this pretty cool tool, which is qrfi.com. So what it is, is it's a uh, QR code generator for different formats on that for different applications. So in this case, because we want to generate a QR code for a Microsoft Teams meeting, um, let's say that um, I have a link that I received in my email, and um, or I should I should say I'm the host rather, and to invite everyone on the team, let's say that I want to have a meeting with um, um, my R and D team, my company, I would send them an email containing the QR code instead of the actual link. So to do so, we'd first need a link. So let's actually go to Microsoft Teams. So once you guys have logged into your Microsoft account and you've extracted a link for the meeting or you've created one rather, you would want to go back to qrfi.com and you want to select on um, the format on which you want to add a link to. So in this case, it's going to be website. So the function is we're going to post the link here and whenever someone scans the code, it will open a URL and redirect them to the actual, to the actual Microsoft meeting. So we're going to paste it here simply and um, let's pretend that I have, I'm just going to use this um, URL here. So it's going to be a dummy meeting. And from here, you get to edit the statistics as well as the configuration of how you want it to look, uh, the scan limit. So um, you're going to give it um, a scan limit. So this way, um, when it reaches a certain number of scans, the link is going or the QR code is going to expire. So people can't use it anymore. You can configure how it looks. You can add a cool little design to it, like a coffee shop or something, or a shopping bag, as well as the QR code um, style, or the grid, or the border, and so on and so forth. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.